once I cleared the boats out, I'm sitting back in the reeds, just kind of watching this go by. And it's really, really fascinating to see this work being done out on the lake like that. From what Beltrami County Sheriff Ernie Beidel can tell us, the fire that burned 75 to 80 acres last night in Eccles Township was a sight to behold. The fire was reported to be on both sides of the road and it spread to the south side. We did have a north wind that was pushing things southward. The uh, area just south of this is a housing development area, fairly new housing development area that is still expanding and growing and a lot, a lot of homes in that area. So as this fire quickly moved, the DNR uh, issued a voluntary evacuation of those homes. Given the dry conditions that we've been having, Sheriff Beidel says the fire just ate up the dry pine and debris. The Minnesota DNR has issued the northwest corner of our state as an area of very high fire danger, just one step under extreme. The Eccles fire quickly grew into a massive team effort. We had a lot of air assets yesterday. We had six uh, fixed wing craft along with three uh, helicopters uh, fighting this fire. And it was through their work, I think, uh, along with the, uh, the boots on the ground, the DNR and the firefighters is what really, really contained the fires and saved uh, all the homes up there. We didn't lose one home, which was very, very exciting to find out that we didn't have that happen. And if the fire was a sight to behold, the firefighting aircraft were actually the characters that stole the show. Sheriff Beidel says crowds gathered to watch the DNR planes work, which led to this Facebook post asking people and boaters to get out of the way on Lake Bemidji. These air assets, they use area lakes and they need a body of water big enough for their aircraft to come down and scoop water from the lake and then be able to take off again. They don't ever stop. Uh, so they'll drop in very quickly and they're on a body of water for a good period of time before they take off again. Uh, but uh, boats out there hindering that. Uh, we had that happen last night. This after an emergency notification to clear the area went out and all the resorts were notified. The sheriff says it's just important to be a bit more self-aware during situations like this. That just comes down to that personal awareness of what's what's happening. I saw that on your on your post too. It said stop coming to site C. <laughs> but it's yeah. like, can you blame them? Because it's not every day you see something like this. It's an unfortunate circumstance, but it is very cool. The teamwork that you guys had displayed. Yeah, everything, everybody came together for this thing. Not only state assets, but our local law enforcement, local firefighters, the volunteer firefighters, they came out. A lot of people wanted to see what was going on, so they kept driving to the area. And the same thing happened on the lake. We just went out there and gently reminded them that they needed to, to leave the area, go to another part of the lake, situational awareness for themselves to stay out of that area. So we talked about how they're putting out the fire so is it done or or is the fire still burning well the fire the hot spots i talked about they were out there still this morning and also the cause of that fire is still under investigation the sheriff says he's treating it as suspicious mm. at this point and he says luckily no one was injured and that they were able to avoid any property damage which is a really good thing the bigger message to all of this though things are pretty volatile in some parts of our state right now so please be careful with recreational fires and follow the DNR burn bans closely. Right. They're good as law. Yeah, well, those maps, though, in that northern area, we really want to keep the beautiful parts of Minnesota beautiful, so we don't want to mess with drought. Got to do your part. Yep. Thank you so much, Sharon. Well,